Hey y'all, I'm back. I just wanted to continue talking about this whole concept of fake friends and people who think that there are free rides in life. Well, like what I was saying about Frank, I believe that he is at his core a woman hater, especially a hater of black women. During the course of several, first of all, I can't really judge him to be a bad person because I don't know him like that. Uh, outside of work, I don't know what type of lifestyle he leads, but from some of the conversations that we've had over the course of the time that I've worked there, which is a few years, I surmise that he is a person that has a lot of problems in his personal life, and many of those problems seem to have to do with his financial situation, his lack of uh, stability. He lives from, basically lives from pillar to post. He has to rely on living with people. He doesn't have his own permanent and stable residence. He told me that he rents a room from a friend who he doesn't really get along with that well. So he has basically one foot in the door and one out. And he could be kicked out at any moment. So it's like he has to walk a thin line when dealing with this person that he's living with. But anyway, a lot of his problems seem to stem from the fact that he doesn't really um, have his shit together financially. And also from the fact that he has a lot of children with different women. So based on that, he probably owes child support. And he's in a lot of debt. Like I said in the first video, I don't have any real empirical facts as to whether this guy is an energy vampire. But just from the nature of some of the things that he said, he doesn't like women. Like he, every time he has a dispute with a woman on the job, her first name becomes bitch. He never refers to these women by their first name. I can tell that he also has a problem with the fact that he has to answer to women. That women are in positions of authority over him. And that does something to his male pride and ego. The first thing that made, led me to believe that he has a problem with women is that one day we were having a conversation we were standing outside of the facility talking on a break and this one young woman passed by and he spoke to her and she kept going so he was like after she walked away he tried to engage me in a conversation about her and I didn't want to get involved because I don't know her and whatever dispute whatever dispute he has going on that's between him and her but he told me that one day he grabbed her on her shoulder and she jerked away from him and flinched like she didn't want to be touched and he took offense to that and he started he referred to her as a bitch and I'm just standing there thinking this guy has no respect for women and he said that he made a comment saying that what is he gonna do with her you know 19 year old pussy he has he has like nine daughters and some of them are around her age and I was very taken aback by and making such a statement about women it just showed me that he has a deep deep-seated disdain for women and that he 
also has a some sort of entitlement to a woman's attention and affections. As if he had a right to put his hands on that woman, you know, even though he just he only put his hand on her shoulder, he had you know, that wasn't a right or a privilege and she didn't want him she obviously didn't want to be touched by him in that moment and now I understand why. She probably knows and understands that the guy is an asshole and she didn't want anything to do with him. So he took offense to her jerking and not wanting to be touched. You know, after that conversation, it made me look at him in a different light. And it made me understand that he's the type of guy that feels that or who may feel that he is superior to women and that he's entitled in some way to a woman's attention or affection. And I would even go as far as say that I believe that if given the chance, he would take advantage of a woman's resources, basically pimp a woman and use her for what she has and to his advantage. You know, there's, re there's reasons why I say that, but I'm not going to get into it in this recording.